today we are taking on congratulations 246 and um today you'll notice that we are running a completely different team and um in fact this was um my very first team back in project pokemon at least my very first fully evolved team and i figured it would be fun to try using it um as a pvp setup in pokemon uranium so you know that's why i got them here they are completely terrible as a team because we have two poison types two water types and like really like there's just not much good type diversity and of the pokemon available a lot of them are terrible and not all of them have the right abilities like um rapid dash right now has runaway rather than flash fire and runaway is a completely useless ability in competitive so you know none of them of course are really like serious pvp machines um they are literally just um you know just fun like pokemon to try out now of course like i did get them pvp sets so that they could actually be used but you know don't expect much from this type of setup and it's not like really something i would choose nowadays but you know it was something i had back in the day because in project pokemon um i remember i started off with like syndical and the problem was um the first gym leader was brock and you know syndical did not perform and we don't do that here so it was sent to the boxes and um i think somehow my team ended up being a bunch of wild pokemon that i was able to collect and um you know it was pretty good and i remember rapidash was the highest level pokemon in my team and um it was um it was it was really good until it came to blaine's gym which was the seventh gym leader at the top of the volcano the fire type guy and um i was completely completely um i guess outmatched in a sense because rapidash was my best pokemon he led with a rapidash that was one level higher than my rapidash and um the thing was that thing would always outspeed and knock out my rapidash before i could knock out his and then you know i could barely barely get through that because my whole team was basically hugely under level because they were all wild pokemon but i do remember eventually at some point i was able to win and um i think it was because i was able to get like um it was uh a tundras or something like that and it was like it was like the same level as um you know as his rapid dash at that time but i was able to to set up like um i'm pretty sure it was nasty plot and i was able to sweep his team because it was like some sort of like special cold um pokemon and it was like it was a really good feeling and um the thunderous did not sweep everything but I swept a lot of his team and then i was able to clean it up with the rest of my remaining pokemon but anyways um you know that's that that was the the whole story um that revolves around this team so anyways he goes into charizard here and um i went for the sleep powder because i thought that we could stay in because a lot of charizards are normally special attackers so that way i could just get off more quiver dances and potentially we'd be able to break right through the charizard with just enough sheer force but um the unfortunate reality was that this was a physical charizard because he has fly and um you know venomot isn't really built to take those hits unfortunately now if he had like wakarona he probably would take those hits but this is venomot completely inferior in every single way the only benefit here is the i think it's like compound eyes where you can get um an increased odds at um landing sleep powder but the problem is this is not even a compound eyes venomot this is shield dust because i couldn't even get the right ability when i try to get them in so you know that is unfortunate but you know it is what it is we can't really do anything about it and same thing with starmie here it has the ability illuminate rather than natural cure but you know we work with it anyway so this is not at all a good pvp team but you know i went into lapras and i actually think this is a pretty fun pokemon to use because it has a great stab combination with freeze dry and hydro pump not many pokemon can really switch into that type of firepower especially because freeze dry is um an ice type move that is super effective against water types so water types are no longer a viable switch in and that just makes it a lot of fun to actually you know use it's a pretty spammable move in my opinion too so you know that's that and um i'm of course running choice specs on this lapras so i get that additional power output but that's really all that that provides like even with that it's not really that strong as um a special attacker in comparison to something like chandelure um in my opinion but you know it is still pretty decent for what it is because this is, after all, an untiered Pokemon. 
but um, it's sad too because Lapras is a very cool Pokemon in my opinion. It has some good stats. It has like 130 HP and a great move. It's just, you know, it's just very difficult to use because of the lower speed and the very mediocre attack stats. And, you know, that's that. So it's, it is sad, but, you know, I, I do like it. And one thing though I've always wondered was why it was part ice type. Because I get that it's water. It's clearly a water type, but why is it part ice type? That's one thing I've never understood, but you know, I'm not going to complain either because I think it's a cool offensive pairing, you know, that's that. So, um, anyways, goes into Absol, and um, I figured that we're still fine to stay in because we have very good HP once again, but our bulk is also pretty solid, so you know, we can actually take the hit pretty well. So I just go for a Hydro Pump to blast this Absol with full power, and we actually outspeed it too. He goes for a Night Slash doesn't do that much damage to Lapras and um you know we could we could hit him again if we wanted to because you know obviously we could kill him but then again also we have that chance of missing the hydro pump so I figured that um it would be good to try and switch into pleasing and partly here once again this is not you know me playing serious competitive I'm just um I'm just trying to use these Pokemon just trying to have fun just trying to try everything out see how they perform so anyways I go into wheezing which completely tanks the hit like a boss and then I go for the I think this was the sludge bomb here unfortunately I missed what I did yeah I'm pretty sure I went for the sludge bomb and he actually makes a very smart move here where um I guess he might have predicted or expected the sludge bomb from the wheezing so he goes into his shiny Lucario and um this Pokemon can actually resist or it's actually immune to the poison type attack so I couldn't even affect it um, but anyways, I figured, you know, we may as well try Volo Wisping it in case it is a physical attacker. But, um, you know, this one seemed to be a special, or actually, well, it was a mixed attacker, but initially it looked like a special attacker at the time. And then, of course, we missed the Will Wisp, which is, you know, of course, unfortunate. So, um, now I figured, you know, it's now time to switch into something else. And, um, I decided that Pidgeot would be the man for the job here, because, um, it will probably take the hit decently well, but then we get paralyzed, which is, um, you know, unfortunate. And I will say one thing for sure, my odds in this game are absolutely terrible, because everything, everything um, that, ter that that happened in this battle is just, you know, sheer bad luck on my part. But really, since this wasn't like, you know, of course, a serious battle, for me, I really, really couldn't be too bothered. So he goes for another fourth palm. We do take it, and thankfully, we are not paralyzed, so I can get off the heat wave and finish his Lucario. And um, I'll say one thing though, I've used Mega Pidgey a lot in Pokemon Break Bonds, although in reality I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite Megas, because um, the issue with it is that it's just, um, it's not really, it's not really, you know, by any means top tier. It's, there are just a lot more better Megas. Now, you know, you can do stuff because it does have that Hurricane that's almost guaranteed to land, or that is guaranteed to land, and it has good speed, so it can be a late game cleaner. But, um, you know, first off, like, you know, you you can get walled by a couple of Pokemon, and a lot of Pokemon can one-shot it because it doesn't have any bulk. And then again, also, it doesn't even have its Mega Evolution speed until, um, turn two of the battle. So that, that just causes it, causes it to be a bit of a liability in, in a way, because, you know, you're, you're using a pretty, pretty slow Pokemon on turn one with no move like fake out to compensate and then you know you don't have any defense so like in my opinion just not Pokemon vert running or at least for me I mean I can see if you wanted to run it but you know that's my perspective so anyways I go into Lapras not really a smart choice here because even on a rock type move Lapras would to still take decent damage but um the thing with Onyx is that it has like a 45 attack stat so I can afford to really just do whatever I want and not care Anyways, we take the rock slide pretty well, although we do flinch, and you know, our paralysis, or our, um, our luck this, this specific scenario is just terrible. Like, we get paralyzed, flinched, and um, of course the choice uh, item does not even work at all, so it is it is a bit annoying if I do say mo so myself. And then we get paralyzed again, once again, another annoyance, you know, RNG can sometimes be that, that painful. But you know, it is what it is. And then finally, when we do attack, we do nutting and kill ourselves. So like, what's the what was the whole point of all of that? Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just a bit annoying if you ask me. So, um, anyways, I go into Starmie here.
because you know we do have speed and we should KO with Scald. It's unlikely that Onyx will be able to take it. And um, in fact, I was correct because we are able to dispatch the Onyx and remove it from the battlefield. And um, you know now, now we are kind of like in a good position because he only has um, Pokemon like Charizard and Absol left that are basically weakened. So, you know, Starmie, of course, has a great matchup here because it outspeeds and will finish them off. Just clean the scraps, which is, you know, kind of what I wanted Starmie to do as, um, you know, just an offensive cleaner in a sense, but also um, a rapid spinner too. So he goes into Absol. We could really stay in and finish the game by going for Skull. But once again, I wanted to try out all these Pokemon. So I go into Rapidash here just so I can finish the game with it instead. He goes for Mega Horn, which still does surprisingly high damage to the Rapidash. So, you know, I decided to finish this man off with the uh, Flare Blitz, which in my opinion, you know, obviously is a bit overdone. We did not need the Flare Blitz, but I did it anyways for the, you know, that, that feeling. And we do win the game. So, yeah, that is GG.